Charles Seibel was an early American helicopter designer who worked at Bell Company during World War II. After the war, he left Bell Company and went to Boeing Company. In 1948, with the support of local investors in Kansas, he established Seibel Helicopter Company. The company immediately began developing the Seibel S for light helicopter, which was developed based on the previous Seibel S-3 helicopter. The entire development process went relatively smoothly. The structure of the S-4 helicopter was quite simple, with the main body made of welded steel pipes. It was generally described as having two decks, with the lower deck being longer. The front portion had a single-seat cockpit with a large windshield for good visibility, while the rear portion was a low cabin for passengers or cargo to enter and exit from the back. The narrow cabin was too small for passengers to stand in, forcing them to sit. The upper deck of the cabin housed the engine, gearbox, and fuel tank, while a long tail boom extended rearward from the back, with the tail rotor at the end. The main rotor directly adopted the dual-blade design of the S-3 helicopter, which was an early helicopter rotor design. The main structural weight and payload of the helicopter were located beneath the rotor hub, and the pilot adjusted the helicopter's center of gravity to perform forward, left, and right movements. The first helicopter was called the S-4A, and in 1949, the second S-4B helicopter was built with some improvements. The landing gear was changed from a three-point wheel type to a sled type, and the cockpit was enlarged to accommodate two pilots sitting side by side. The engine was also changed to the more powerful Lycoming O-290B. The S-4 helicopter did not have an enclosed cabin structure, although some photos showed a skin-like structure, it was actually made of fabric or transparent plastic panels that could be rolled up or removed. The S-4 made its first flight in January 1949 and received civil certification from the Civil Aviation Administration in April of the following year. The U.S. Army also expressed interest in it and ordered two for testing and evaluation, designated as YH-24 with serial numbers 51 to 5112 and 51 to 5113. To be honest, the S-4 helicopter had a strong and reliable structure, and its design was believed to be cost-effective. However, it did not impress the military. After testing, the Army found that the helicopter was too small and did not have enough payload capacity, so it was not suitable for military use. As a result, the Army abandoned the Seibel S for light helicopter in 1952. The Seibel S for light helicopter had an empty weight of 435 kilograms, a maximum takeoff weight of 699 kilograms, a length of 8.48 meters, a height of 3 meters, a rotor diameter of 8.877 meters, a rotor area of 61.9 square meters, a maximum speed of 105 kilometers per hour, a cruising speed of 93 kilometers per hour, a maximum range of 158 kilometers, a maximum altitude of 1,300 meters, and a capacity for one pilot and one passenger.